then you have a chat system where you can ask something and ask the chat system to create an art for you. Everything within the chat. And that is exactly what DALI 3 is going to be. DALI 3 is the most advanced text to image model from OpenAI. DALI 1 was there, DALI 2 was there, then Stable Diffusion came in, Mid Journey came in. They literally crushed DALI family of models. But with DALI 3, I think OpenAI is going to crush everybody else. Definitely not Stable Diffusion, but at least Mid Journey because DALI 3 is directly coming inside ChatGPT. Before I go into the details, one reason why I am so excited about this is this model is baked right into ChatGPT and all you have to do is go ask ChatGPT. OpenAI has made a very beautiful video to show you how it works. So with this, if you had noticed, DALI is quite interactive with ChatGPT and you can ask certain things and ChatGPT with DALI can provide you those things. It almost feels like OpenAI is trying to do a multimodal chat system with ChatGPT, not just about asking questions about an image, but also asking ChatGPT to create an image. I mean, this entire video, you would have noticed that you could build a completely coherent story just simply with ChatGPT and that is possible because DALI is natively built on ChatGPT which lets you use ChatGPT as a brainstorming partner, a refiner of your prompts. Just ask ChatGPT whatever you want to see from a simple sentence to detailed paragraph. And I think that is where DALI 3 is going to make a huge difference because I've seen some samples where DALI 3 is quite good at following prompts. And that is because OpenAI has made a point. OpenAI has said that modern text to image systems have a tendency to ignore words and descriptions, forcing users to learn prompt engineering. DALI 3 represents a leap forward in our ability to generate images that exactly adhere to the text you provide. And that is what they show in these samples. The sidewalks bustling with pedestrians enjoying nightlife. You can see the bustling city street under the shine of a full moon. You can see and you can see every single detail of the prompt being baked into these examples. Now, like you, if you have the skepticism that all these examples are usually cherry picked, let me go ahead and then show you something that I just literally saw. Like, for example, if you even ignore this, this is uh, Technium, who is a very prolific fine tuner. So Technium asked, OK, can you ask DALI 3 to create this? brand new NVIDIA 99,000 transparent bioelectric neuro GPU sitting on a pedestal of rainbows and ribbons dripping RGB. Look at these images. These are the images that are created by DALI 3. So yes, it has got the actual, you know, the product very good. It has got 9,900, um, said 99,000, but it got 9,900. And all these pictures are quite sick, absolutely brilliant. And it's not just one, this things like, for example, you can go ahead and then see one more interesting thing that I saw is, for example, somebody asked a Ghibli studio, anime style riding bike in the sunshine in a utopian city text says, welcome to the future. And you can see a utopian city that has welcome to the future. And it has got the entire text with the same style completely correct. I mean, it, it didn't get the text right here. It doesn't matter. It got the text right here. It has gotten. I mean, can you say that this is AI generated? I mean, these days, whenever something is too good, I actually say that this is AI generated. And it's not just this, like for example, a goose in a lab coat line art. It has done a tremendous job. You can see it is good. And even for the very first image that they've used, this is just an avocado that just lies down in front of a therapist. And then it says, I just feel so empty inside. That's, that's the prompt of this. And it does a pretty good job. Like if you see, it's just an illustration of an avocado sitting in a therapist chair saying, I just feel so empty inside with a pit sized hole in its center. The therapist, a spoon scribbles note. So now the therapist is a spoon and the therapist is scribbling notes. The avocado is there on a chair 
and with a hole inside and it just says this this is so beautifully well crafted image not just that it does text really well i was told that it also does hands well so it does hands well you can see this image the way it has done hands well i mean you can still say that this is probably not a human image because you know the hands are a little plasticky but but i would say still it is a great image from a text to image generation tool and there are other examples where dali 3 is completely doing like a tremendous job which we have never seen before and that is all baked into chat gpt and it is going to be available for chat gpt plus and enterprise customers so if you are like me who is paying 20 dollars per month and then feeling bad that you are not using gpt4 nf maybe dali 3 is going to con convince you to pay the 20 dollars more or keep on paying if you see a comparison quick comparison between dali 2 and dali 3 it's a tremendous difference the the prompt here is an expressive oil painting of a basketball player during dunking depicted as an explosion of a nebula and this is the image it's got the number right the number is legible and it has got the basketball player right and the colors are quite vibrant and good and it doesn't look too much into your face and it is done a tremendous job and uh, open ai has given you a bunch of other samples like for example the poster here the um, the cartoons here and all these other things i think it's quite quite amazing the only catch that you like stable diffusion fans may not like is the focus on safety so like previous versions they have taken steps to not generate violent adult or hateful content also as part of this that it is designed to decline requests that ask for an image in the style of a living artist so maybe you should look only for a data artist creators can now also opt their images out from training of our future image generation models but despite all these things i honestly feel dali 3 is quite amazing it's quite cute as well like um, i don't know like maybe maybe that is their target audience like uh, they they want kids they want like parents they want people who want to design comic book to use this thing it it pays attention to details in such a way that it does a tremendously good job and um, and yeah uh, i think that the world is going to completely witness something so state of the art just like gpt4 and just when i was thinking that you know open ai has given up on dali be being you know dali being one of the first um, text to image generation model now it seems like dali 3 is actually making a big comeback that i never expected even in my dreams let me know what do you feel about dali 3 um the the biggest bummer is there is no technical paper here there is no model here there is no way for you to request something and then see how it goes but anyways this is this is dali 3 um will let's wait for a technical paper to understand what kind of model this is but overall this is an exciting future where chat gpt is going to become much much more than what it is right now and that future is going to be multimodal thank you so much see you in another video happy prompting